Hi friends, it's Sarah Miller House here and I am so excited to be sharing a new layout with you today. I am going to be lifting this beautiful layout by Morag and I loved using the elements that she had used and taking the general layout that she that she had and creating my own page. So you'll see some similarities and then you'll see definitely um, some differences. So <clears throat> I loved, I thought her layout was absolutely gorgeous and I thought it'd be super fun to lift that. So what I did is I started with this beautiful patterned paper. This is from the March main kit and I am going to be using, um, this is like a throwback, uh, throwback layout. So I got to use um, lots of elements from lots of different kits. So mainly I'm going to be using January, February, March, and April kits. But um, this main paper that I'm using is from the March kit. So what I did here is I wanted to use uh, on her, on Morag's layout, she had kind of a, a paper that had a floral pattern at the top and I wanted to do the same, but I loved this floral pattern, this floral patterned paper. Uh, but when I, I noticed the way that I needed it to be situated on the paper, <clears throat> the print was going sideways. So there was kind of like a newsprint element there already on the paper. And so what I did is I just took another piece of patterned paper from that same March kit and cut out or tore out just a little section of that and then layered it under uh, the part that I had cut. So I just kind of fussy cut around that floral cluster so that I could tuck in that newsprint underneath. So hopefully that makes sense as you saw me do it. And then it also allowed me to kind of tuck in some flowers underneath the cluster that's there and then also on top. So it kind of makes it kind of makes it look more a little more realistic like a bouquet would be not so flat and um i was able to incorporate flowers that i fussy cut from patterned papers from the different kits uh from the two different uh 2023 kits and then also some that were already from ephemera uh, packs and they were already cut so did lots of different things on this layout and it was super fun to be able to use lots of different kits and some of my favorite things from from the different months so the flowers i tried to pull some bright colored flowers and just flowers uh, that kind of spoke to me the colors and i loved i loved all of these pieces that i incorporated so i did add in that navy blue or that kind of it's almost between a royal and a navy blue um, very vivid blue and so then I needed to go ahead and add a few other elements to kind of tie all that in together so I'm adding some leaves in that same shade around my clusters and uh, you'll see things as I go throughout making this layout so um, I do you'll see I do bend up all of the edges of the leaves and of the floral petals I like everything to look like it's coming off of the page, kind of jumping off the page at you. I love the texture that that adds. So you'll see I'm adding some craft foam behind different elements. And I loved that I was able to fussy cut around this patterned paper, like that floral cluster that was already part of the patterned paper. But by kind of just sneakily cutting some of those edges, I'm able to tuck in lots of different things and it doesn't look like just a flat paper. So that was super fun. And then I'm going to be adding some ink. So she had on Morag's layout, she had some kind of pink <coughs> elements poking through. And so I am mimicking that. I'm using the Bahama Mama inklings from one of the color kits this, uh, this year. And that is, it's a beautiful kind of a light pink, uh, lots of shimmer. So that's a shimmers paints product and I absolutely love it. And then here I'm also going to be using this um, stamp and it was from I believe the April kits and I love it. So I will tell you one um, big trick here that will help this layout go better if you're trying to kind of mimic sort of a similar layout. I did use archival ink to do this part of the layout. So I pulled an arch archival ink from my stash and did that black ink and the reason for that is because I'm going to be adding some other elements like right here I'm adding just kind of some coffee stains uh there it kind of looks like there was that on Morag's layout so I did some of that as well uh 
but I'm going to be adding other wet medium down there. And I knew if I used a water soluble ink, like the beautiful Catherine Pooler inks, the one that I'm using right now, <laughs> I used it last on the top. Um, the Catherine Pooler ink midnight and um, that black ink from one of the past color kits. Um, I knew if I had used that at the bottom and then added wet medium to it, it'd be kind of like a muddy mess. So if you're going to be adding wet mediums to something and you already have black ink that's water soluble, uh, that can be super tricky. So just be careful with that. So I did use an archival ink um, down there and that will not bleed. It's permanent. You can add water to it. You can do all different kinds of things on top of it and nothing, it, it won't lift or mix. So that's just one little trick. And then here I took three pieces, strips of torn paper, just like Morag did in her layout. So I tried to mimic, she had a pink layer and then a black and white floral layer kind of poking out really subtly there. And then uh, she had another layer that kind of had a little bit of blue. Um, and I wanted a, just a touch more color. <laughs> so I did this patterned paper that kind of has a variation of colors and I love that patterned paper, kind of a mosaic looking patterned paper. I think that's from the April kit. I pulled so many different things for all these kits, it's hard for me to remember which ones they're from. But uh, if you order the main kits, you'll have a lot of the elements that I, that I used on this layout. Okay, so that's kind of the general. She had those three strips of paper across the middle. She had two photos on the left, one photo on the right. So I, kind of, I mimicked that and then she also, um, had her photos matted and so I'm doing the same matting those on this blue patterned paper I think that's also from the April kit so I just hand cut those because I knew I was going to distress the edges they didn't need to be cut perfectly so I distressed the edges around there to kind of rough them up give them a little more texture <clears throat> And I'll be gluing those photos down. But she had lots of layers and different little elements and little pieces and parts behind her photos. So before I glue them down, I'm going to be adding, I'm going to be mimicking that. Okay, so that's kind of the general where the photos were going to go. And then I pulled out, these are some fabric pieces some little fabric journaling blocks from the April kits, and then also pink fresh frames, chipboard frames, and those were from the March, March kits, I believe. So I'm gonna be layering just a combination of some things back behind the photos. I just want them tucking out, tucking out around the edge of those photos. And I did try to add in a few contrasting colors so that you can see it, but it's not like crazy too overwhelming. She had some little frames and some little bits and pieces. So pulling in some of those things. And I love that because it does draw your eye to the photos. It does make them kind of stand out and be a little bit more important. And I did add some craft foam behind several of the different little layers because there were some chipboard frames. I was kind of trying to create all of that on one layer back there. So I was trying to make the elements that were flatter. I added a little bit of craft foam so that they were at the same level as the chipboard frames. And then I added craft foam behind my photos and sat those up on top. This is just cheap craft foam from my local craft store. It's nothing special. Doesn't even have adhesive on it. I add my own adhesive. And I do wet adhesive, combination of wet adhesive and dry adhesive. And I do add just a little touch of glue to all of my elements that are stickers, like even the chipboard frames that already have adhesive and any of the pieces and parts, I go ahead and add my own adhesive too. And then she used this same um, Simple Stories, this beautiful, it says living my best life. And uh, she had used that right kind of right in the center of her layout. And so I am using the same piece. It's a chipboard. So it's got lots of good um, dimension to it. <clears throat> and then I'm fussy cutting 
some flowers out from patterned paper from, I think those were from the March kit. <clears throat> and then these photos are from a day that we spent in my mom's garden. There's no pictures of my mom uh, from that day. I was just kind of snapping some photos as we were hanging out on her back porch. She's got a beautiful back porch and a beautiful garden. And so we were, we were hanging out back there and I thought that this was a perfect layout to feature those photos with all the beautiful flowers. My mom definitely is a talented gardener, has a green thumb for sure. So I thought that was perfect. You don't see the journaling, I will go back and add, I usually go back and add journaling afterwards. Um, once it's going in my own album, I add, add some journaling, so I'll talk about that. And then she, Morag, on Morag's layout, she had kind of the flowers traveling down the center of the page and then kind of layered and tucked in between the layers of paper. So I am mimic mimicking that. Definitely my layout has a lot more, um, this kind of trail of flowers is definitely, God, <laughs> a lot more color and a lot more layers. I couldn't stop, I couldn't stop myself. I just kept adding. Um, so it, it definitely is a little more, I loved the, um, the beautiful layered simplicity of Morag's layout and I tried to achieve it, but I didn't necessarily succeed at that. So mine's a little not so simple. Um, but I end up liking it just the same. So when you're scrap lifting, uh, another person's layout, it's definitely okay for it to turn out with your own style and your own and your own um, kind of flair. But I loved her layout so much, so I thought it was a great starting point. And then um, these are just, I'm pulling in some flowers and some leaves that I will fussy cut. Did lots of fussy cutting for this layout. I didn't make you watch most of that, <laughs> but it's it was all there. I'm adding in a few little more frames more is more and then that was a simple story sticker from the sticker book that was in the March kit and then these are little pink fresh circles um, this was not these were not on the original layout but I loved how they looked kind of tucked in to the clusters of flowers and so I tucked those in and I love the little the things that they say like love it and relax and I loved the phrases that they had so I thought those were perfect, kind of tucked in along the cascading floral trail. And then I pulled in here some epoxy dots. They're almost like foam kind of foam epoxy dots. And those are from one of the embellishment kits. I think it's February. And I love to add in like little, little elements, little things for your eye to catch as you're looking at the page. And these little dots, um, I added them in some places in little little groups of three and then some places just one dot here and there. And you'll see they are very sticky but I am adding wet glue. Just so from years from now I'm not <laughs> going through and having everything fall off. Okay and then off camera I did add some um, little pops of color to the centers of my flowers and then here I'm adding Nouveau drops. This is, those were from the color kit, the November color kit, I think. So I'm adding those in the centers of the flowers and kind of around the clusters, just to add a little shimmer and shine and a few more little details. And that really helps that, that flat floral cluster at the top um, where, it's not, where it's not as layered, it kind of helps bring that to life. So here's some close up views of that. And once those Nouveau drops dry, they dry very shiny and shimmery. Right now they're still wet, so you can't really tell, but they will dry with lots of shine. 
I love all of these kits combined together. That's one of my favorite things about the hip kits is that you can take lots of different months and combine them together and create really cool, unique things. So it's one of my favorite things to do with these kits. So I've got links below to um, subscribe and order your own kits and get discounted rates for that. And then uh, check out all of the new kits. They are absolutely gorgeous. Thanks guys.